summertime and we are planting our fruits and vegetables that we've been thinking about all year long. However, what we think is public enemy number one to our garden is also something that could be a benefit. Well, we're going to find out today with Sal Sharp, who is no stranger to our WISU viewers. How are you today? I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day. Yes, it is. And we are here in your property. Yeah, there's a lot of history behind it. We talked a little bit about it. Um, tell me, what are weeds exactly? Yeah, so uh, to some people, a weed is a nuisance. And then to other people, it's their livelihood, it's food, it's food for the bees, depending on what kind of plants it is. And some of them have medicinal um, properties too. And you were showing us earlier that there is kind of like a secret to getting rid of those stubborn weeds. What is yes. it? Um, well, the first thing, um, one way is just when they come up and you decide it's a weed, is actually just pulling them up. Um, and one other quick thing on the weeds, if you can see these are kind of ate up, so some weeds attract the uh, bugs away from what you don't want them to eat. Now, having said this, this weed is quite invasive and it spreads. We pretty much want it out of here. Um, now, all these weeds, are pulling all the nutrients into the stems. So a lot of people would just weed and just throw them out. But we've got a different technique which utilizes all, all this in here, all the nutrition that's in all these leaves. Grab you a bucket like we have down here and you start pulling these weeds. Try to keep, not pull the flowers out. Put them in a bucket like this. And as you can see, we could be here all day. But if you do a little bit at a time, it helps out a lot. Other methods that we can take to, you know, upkeep the health of our garden. Yeah, so um, the biggest thing is just pulling the weeds out as soon as you decide that they are a weed. And um, I'll take you down to the high tunnel. We've got another method where we can um, put tarps over what we're not using in the winter time and it'll kill the weeds, um, it heat up in there, kill the weeds, and then you can pull back and plant, um, especially if you're doing vegetable gardening, and you can put some cardboard, cardboard around there. Um, so we'll, we'll definitely have to walk down there and see that, show All everybody right, that. Well, let's go. everything the cardboard will help keep everything for the weeds from coming up um, we also have this black plastic too um, it just takes a little bit more labor to section off pieces um, but if you don't like the look of cardboard you can definitely get some nice landscape plastic um, get a higher grade because uh, if it's a cheaper stuff the weeds will just come up through it especially in South Carolina because it's so hot and the weeds are so prolific they'll come straight through there and we saw a couple of weeds over there. Um, we saw a couple of weeds down there. Tell me about some of the different type of weeds, because I know that some of them yeah. grow naturally. Some of them grow into a flower. Some of them mm -hmm. grow into like a little, little a leaf. Yeah. What are some of the different plants? I mean, you, you were talking about raspberries. Yeah, so we have raspberries over here, or blackberries. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, blackberries over here. Um, and you can pick them and eat them. A lot of people don't like them because they spread like really bad. Um, so that's one thing that if you won't, you're gonna have to just keep track and see where it's going. Um, I, we've got some Virginia creeper in here, um, which is very aggravating. Um, there's, uh, and we don't like to use any chemicals on anything. So we just try to weed eat it and keep it back that way. Um, it makes a habitat for birds. Um, you know, snakes, people hate snakes. They're scared death of snakes. If you keep your lawn clean, um, and have a little area to the side that's kind of brushed up. The snakes typically would stay over there. Um, you know, they keep the rodent population down. Uh, they're definitely, yeah, you know, beneficial. Yes. So we talked about weeds, the benefits, and everything that you can do to get 
the best out of you can out of those weeds and how you can keep them away from, from your garden to keep it healthy and nice. And Sal over here, thank you so much for explaining everything to me and I understand that you are quite the expert and that if anybody needs help, they can come contact you. Yes. Tell me a little bit about how people can get in contact with you if they have any further questions about weeding and just gardening in general. Yeah, so our website is salslocalseed.com. So definitely sign up for our newsletter. And then um, you can also call us at 803-786-6546. Perfect. Well, there you have it.